Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, I thought, after the fun of last week's video of learning to ride a unicycle, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already seen it, I thought I'd film a more training slash race focused video, which is my first month on Swift. Now, I got Swift at the end of 2021 with the free trial overlapping with the new year. So I thought I'd share my some of my data for the first month. I did start filming my first ride on Swift, so I'll leave a bit of that here because I never shared the video of that. Today, I'm gonna to be trying Zwift for the first time. I got my Watt bike a couple of months ago and I didn't really use it a lot then because it was still warm enough and sunny enough to go out in the evenings. But now I've been using it quite a lot in the evenings after work, particularly when I've been working from home because I've not had the commutes that I would usually have. So I decided it was time to have a go. For my first ride I just had a quick ride around and sometimes changed which way I was going, which I thought was quite a cool option. I enjoyed the sprint segments because I don't usually include interval training in my watt bike sessions. I hadn't made full use of the features on the watt bike using the watt bike app to change the resistance, so I really felt it when the gradient changed and the resistance got harder on Zwift. I even picked up a spotty jersey. I also liked the messages of encouragement written on the road. I really enjoyed my first ride on Zwift even though some of it was very hard, but I could see that it was going to improve my training, so I decided to invest. And this was the ride report from my first ride on Zwift. Now onto my first month. I did 260 miles in just under 12 hours worth of Zwift with 11,000 feet of climbing. My um, Calendar looks very consistent at the start of the year with a few days off for races and other bits that outside. Um, and then I went back to work and Swift went shoop. When I was commuting to and from work, most days I then wasn't doing a Swift ride after that. I've had lots of fun exploring different places. So I've ticked off quite a few of the routes. I've only done one route twice, which was one I then did in a group ride. In terms of group rides, I've done the Tour de Zwift, which was all eight stages of intense riding, which was fun. The Chris Hoy Doddy Aid rides and one of the Internationals rides. The first group ride I did was the Chris Hoy ride and it was meant to be a social pace on a Wednesday and it was very fast. And then the week after I did it again and got an FTP increase, which was good. The FTP I put in to start with was from the end of October last year. So it was fairly accurate. I've really enjoyed using Zwift this month. I would quite happily sit on the on the Watt bike for 20 to 30 miles with just music on, quite happy just pedalling along steadily. But now most of my riding is done at home in the winter, which was the same reason I bought the Watt bike. Now I'm at work, I decided to invest in Zwift. Um, and it has paid off. The two races I've done since then, have been my best two races of the season. Uh, one of which was the cyclocross race at Misserton, which I came second in and I filmed, so I'll leave that video here. Um, the first one was after two or three Zwift rides, so it was a bit early to tell. And I think that was more the conditions playing in my favor rather than the training paying off. But the second race at Misserton was definitely the training paying off because I got a really good start and the Zwift rides have just been giving me that extra kick when I'm struggling. Um, that week, actually, I thought I'd done a bit too much on Zwift before the race because I struggled in the warm up. But then the race came and I did really well. So it showed that the training had been paying off. Obviously, in winter, I don't ride outside as much. So in January, I did 
308 miles, of which 250 something were inside on the walk bike. In comparison to other months, in March last year I did 400 miles with 13,000 feet of climbing and in May last year I did 400 miles with 12,000 feet of climbing, roughly, which is very consistent for me and they were pretty standard months. Um, so it was interesting to see how different my training would be with the climbing allowance on Zwift. So it was just over 11,000 on Zwift this month. I've always felt that Zwift was a bit hillier in, than in real life. In feet per mile, on my average 24 mile training ride, it's 32. And 12 out of the 21 rides I did in January were more hilly than that, with the maximum being 170 feet per mile. I'm really interested to see how my climbing improves this year when I get back out on the road on climbs, because apart from just climbing more, per mile. Uh, the other thing is there are a lot steeper hills whereas so here I can get kind of 10-15% climbs like within a ride on Zwift whereas if I try to do that outside I'd have to travel quite far to get a decent climb. One thing that I haven't done on Zwift is do any of the workouts or connect my heart rate monitor but that's definitely something I am going to try. I find the group rides very good workouts anyway because when the terrain changes I can tell that I'm getting dropped, particularly down the hills and changing gear a lot more than I would on the road to stay with the group. Overall I'm really happy that I did invest in Zwift. It's meant I've had a lot more fun riding my bike inside this year than I would usually. I don't think I have anything else to add on that other than Hopefully it's going to improve my riding outside and I can't wait to get back outside. It's been so windy these past few weekends, so I'm really missing riding outside. I was also really impressed with how real it looks, because I'm not used to playing video games or seeing that kind of graphic. I really did quite enjoy that. And also, I'd been learning about road markings at work, so I did quite like seeing how they were done in Zwift. But maybe that's just me. I also enjoyed choosing some rather fancy kit from the garage. Although I haven't unlocked much yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.